We just wanted to take a quick second um, to express how amazing a night like this is. Um, I hope that each and every one of you get an opportunity in your life to experience what it's like to be surrounded by people who just love. I'm going all in, in over my head. I'm not scared to get drenched in your love. You know, we picked our readings for our wedding and they were all about love. And it's just like, love is not tacky. Love is not cheesy, you know? Um, and that's the journey that we've come to understand. Love is patient. Love is kind. I don't used to get to, church, uh, to preach in a church with windows that you can see out of, right? Normally they're, they're stained glass and you can't see, but this is beautiful countryside. And it is a beautiful time of the year. Because this is a time in which we are challenged to hope for the spring. So I want to explain to you all the beautiful unfolding of Claire and Drew's relationship. And one Sunday morning, I came down to the kitchen and I noticed that Claire's bright blue eyes had a twinkle in them. She told me that Drew Vollmer asked her on a date last night. <laughs> so on June 21st, 2022, Drew came over to our house in his big red truck and picked Claire up to go to a cocktail bar. And this was Claire's first and last first date. <laughs> I've actually never called Drew perfect. <laughs> like not even close. <laughs> when I think of Drew, I think of humility, steadiness, grit, and sacrifice. I know for a fact that our Father in Heaven has blessed you with these qualities. And Claire, I know that he's gonna bring these into his marriage with you, your marriage together. Watching Drew, Claire, Drew and Claire fall in love has been a great joy for me. I began to realize that Claire was not Drew was not just dating my sister to date her, but he has found himself swept away by her goodness, by the sweetness of her companionship, and the comfort of her gentle presence. I don't have to see where this road ends, just as long as my hands in
didn't expect you guys to like agree to this. <laughs> like, no one's gonna come to Kansas City in December. And then all of you are, and it's like Mike was saying, it's a testament to who Claire is. It's like, wow, you just make an impact on people. It is an open book, a beautiful story that, two stories that have come together and will now continue together for life. Yeah.